This show is called My Mother's House, and um, the show is about memory loss and what happens when you have memory loss and how it impacts your identity and how it impacts family history and the people around you. And um, the show is, has happened because my mum has Alzheimer's. And soon after she received her diagnosis of Alzheimer's, I found a box of photographs that I hadn't seen for a while. And it struck me that the photographs hold the memories in place, even as she was losing hers. So I started working with the photographs and photocopying them and collaging them and drawing them and playing around with them. And so I've been doing this work now for about two or three years, and it's gone on from that to include drawings and paintings. So there's a range of work in the show. And um, the reason the work is called My Mother's House is that in um, psychology and dream work, the house is um, symbolic and it represents one's psyche, one's sense of self. And so if you have a dream where you're walking through a house and you're opening doors and you think, oh, I don't remember that room, you're actually dreaming about your own sense of self. And of course, our self-identity is made up of our memories to a large degree. So what ha happens to our sense of self when we are losing our memories? So then the idea of the show is that I've created a house for my mum's memories because she no longer has that house to hold her memories and her identity in. Do you choose the materials for the... Oh, good question, good question. Place? So um, there are a lot of different materials. So there are line drawings on paper, there are collages, there are um, paintings with gouache on paper, there are oil paintings, so it's a good question. Um, what tends to happen is if I start to trying one thing, then I'll do several of them. And I'll so, so for example, recently I've been working with gouache. So I was cutting out images from photocopied photographs, putting them onto board, and then painting around with gouache, adding more information. And then what, sometimes what happens is things just come your way. So a friend of mine showed me this wonderful white pen which you can actually draw with on top of gouache. So then I started using it because it's just such fun. And then um, sometimes things happen because of where I am. So um, I've been traveling a lot the last few years. So I've had to be able to make work that I can put into a suitcase. So that meant working on paper. And then what I found was that as I was traveling, I would end up with boxes like soap boxes and toothpaste boxes and chocolate boxes and things like that. So then I started using the, uh, flattening open the boxes and using those to work on and taking images, not just from the photographs that I would carry around with me, but things like the magazines that I would pick up at the tube stations in London, for example. So a lot of it is fortuitous. And then some of it is because if I'm in a class and I'm maybe painting in a class, then I'm going to use the same subject material in my class. So then I am going to end up with an oil painting. What about the palette? I noticed that some are very dark. Yes. Uh, dark and some are very light. Yes. So I know. And, and it, yeah, and it's interesting because that's the sort of thing you only notice when you put everything up on the wall, right? Because the darker ones are older pieces. So those ones were made um, sort of, those were made most recently after my mum's diagnosis. And the brighter ones are the more recent ones. And over time, although it never stops being horrendous, the um, level of distress, if you like, that's been involved, not just for my mum, but everyone else in the family, it's not as bad as it used to be. And also, I've been painting a lot more. So, and I really like bright colors. I like to just squeeze straight out of the tube and just slap it on. But it, so yes, I noticed that when we hung the show that there were these dark areas and then these bright areas. And so it's partly different materials that I've been using at different periods of time, but there may also be a psychological reason for that as well, which hopefully is a good thing. So hopefully it means that, you know, at least for me, things are getting better and I'm using bright colors.